Jeff Green with Green Financial Group. Thanks for tuning the video blog today. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about why this economy is so confusing. Stick around, we'll be right back. So if you're confused about this economy today, don't worry, you're not alone. Even the professionals are confused. I just read a headline that said, we're going to have a non-recession recession. Not sure what that is. If anyone out there knows, give me a call and like me. I've never heard that before. But here's why everything is so confusing. It's because we did unprecedented things during COVID. We locked an economy down. We printed six trillion new dollars. We borrowed five trillion dollars from our kids to pay people not to work. We've never done anything like this before. So there is absolutely no way that we know how this will all turn out. If you hear someone says that they know what's, how this is going to end, that's impossible to know. I would not, I would be le very leery of listening to that. We just also had the debt ceiling debate. I had so many clients call in to me worried about uh, the debt ceiling. Are we, is this going to pass? If it doesn't pass, you know, what happens? Well, the debt ceiling to me was never really the issue. Uh, you know, we, I think, I think the number was 89 times prior to this particular debt ceiling getting passed that it had passed. The debt ceiling getting passed was never going to be the issue. It was going to pass. It passed. Uh, now we've had 90 consecutive, uh, it's, it's never not passed. But the problem isn't the debt ceiling, it's how we're going to pay for all of these things. If you look at uh, the Congressional Budget Office, for example, has uh, said that in this year, if you look at entitlement spending like Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, it's equal 10.8% um, of GDP, somewhere in that area. And in 30 years, that'll be about 14.9% of GDP. So these costs are going up. And there's really one of two ways that we can solve that particular issue. We can either raise taxes or we can um, increase, uh, this isn't a popular decision or, or popular outcome, but we can, we can raise the retirement age. If you do that, it keeps more people in the labor force for longer periods of time. It keeps more dollars in the private sector, which will then help boost GDP growth. That is really, in my opinion, the best decision. However, the most popular decision will be to raise taxes. And if we raise taxes to help pay for entitlement spending, then that's going to make the government just more bigger than it already is. It's already too big. It makes government bigger, it stifles spending, uh, and it will slow and it slows GDP growth. And so that, and the, the unfortunate thing there is that that will be very gradual. You'll hardly even notice it, but it will, it will come and it will be a gradual experience. So the real question is how we're gonna pay for these things. Don't worry about debt ceilings, worry about how we're gonna pay for it. So thanks for tuning the video blog today. Any concerns, questions, or comments, give us a call. Remember, stay the course.